And this is where the identities were born. We're going to save the princess. This is a proof. Look at what we have here. On the left-hand side, we write it down. We're not lazy. We have 1 minus the cosine over 1 plus the cosine. And we're going to try to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. Look what this guy's doing. He's multiplying by the conjugate of the numerator. Let's see where this takes him. All right. So top and bottom by that. It's the magic one. Now what? Multiplying out that top, you see you have the difference of squares. a plus b, a minus b, multiplies out to b, a squared minus b squared, now what? In the denominator, go ahead, perfect square, show me. a plus b squared is a squared, plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, where are we at? I don't know. I'm trying to get that right-hand side. This is trash. Let's start over. That's a legitimate strategy. This time, let's multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. Go ahead. Multiplying top and bottom by the magic one or 1 minus cosine squared, or 1 minus cosine divided by 1 minus cosine. When we do that in the numerator, whoa, why don't we just square, wow, square them. Good idea. Because if you have something times itself, it's itself squared. And the denominator, difference of squares. Nice. Well played. Now what are you going to use? Your training. Yeah. Wait, how did you do that? Oh, you got that sine squared in there using algebra. All right, I see. Oh, yeah, split the fractions. Nice idea. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah! Why? Reciprocal. Ratio. Nice. How are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? How are those the same? Oh, I see. That's that difference squared. <laughs>